Hey there, welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie. Today I wanted to talk about, this is Zach Neal's The Nightmare Before Dinner cookbook. Uh, I am excited. This is the Beetle House cookbook. I was trying to look for Halloween cookbooks specifically. I was just realizing there's a lot of Christmas cookbooks. There's a lot of, somewhat of a lot of like Thanksgiving and Easter cookbooks, but why not Halloween? So I only have, I think, two options at my library, and this was one of them, and I'm very curious. I think there needs to be more. Halloween is coming up very, very soon, so I need a plan. I don't like having multiple screens and multiple recipes pulled up online personally. I get really, like, confused, especially when planning for a party. I don't know if it's just me. I like to, like, put a little tab for each page that I want to use in a cookbook to kind of flip through if I need to make like multiple meals. So I'm looking forward to seeing what different cookbooks have. So let's dive into this. This is very, very goth and Halloween-y already, the purple, black, and white. All right, so let's see if I can find a table of contents here. Oh, this is actually quite cool. So we have Beetle House Must Haves. Uh, chapter one is sauces and dips for the recently deceased. This is so Halloween and adorable. All right, so chapter two, I apologize if this offends anybody. So we've got nightmares before dinner is chapter two. Uh, chapter three is herbs, plants, and cauldrons. I'm assuming this is probably salads. Um, then we have uh, platos de muertos. I like that for the next chapter. And then we've got... Uh, Chapter five is tricks and treats, fun. And then chapter six is poisons, potions, and elixirs. Chapter seven, wow, I can't believe there's more. Um, put the fun back in funeral. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, as you can tell, the illustrations are very cute, very Halloween, very horror oriented, but it's cute. Like this is a very Halloween oriented cookbook. I am, I'm glad I picked this up. So. I like in the must-haves, everything's very clear and concise. It might be kind of goofy, but it actually is very informational. The two tools are clearly located. We've got, all, wow, they've even listed kind of the um, ingredients you'll need. We have plant-based swaps in this whole book as well. So vegan substitutes for your different ingredients, including honey. So for those of you that include that in there. That's very, very cool. There, I had no idea Worcestershire sauce was was not vegan. Oh my goodness. That's good to know. So that's very helpful, very cool. The chapters are so, so fun. Um, so let's look at a few recipes for each chapter. So this is a sweet lime cream sauce. So remember, these are the dips for chapter one. That That's unique. I've never seen that before. <laughs> dead sauce <laughs> it looks like there's shrimp on here um but it, it yeah this looks really good you can so it says the super tasty citrus sauce is spicy sweet and garlicky so you can use it for different food items throughout the book that's really handy so it's not just you know strictly halloween and this is the recipe and that's it i like that it's really loose all right so let's move on we've got for some of your sides uh brains and chips I think you might need a skull cup for this to make it brainy, but I like I like that they've added, I don't know what this is. It's like, and it's different. It's a totally different kind of guacamole. It has like pineapple juice, honey. These are like, I think it looks like red onions on the very top. It's This is a unique uh, guacamole recipe, I gotta say. This is a The Dietz Shrimp Cocktail Fun. Let's move on to something a little, here's your salads. Giant peach salad. Oh, I haven't heard anything for giant, uh, James the Giant Peach in a while. We have, ooh, this is interesting. Maybe it's soups and salads. So, uh, Barbarous Barbecue Beef Ramen. This might even be used as a meal, to be perfectly honest. The Butcher's Stew. So as you can see, it's not really Halloween. I mean, you don't see like little fingers and stuff in here, but I like that there's options and you can be like, oh, this is the butcher's stew, you know? So that's kind of cool. So some of the actual, 
here we go. So some of the uh, bigger recipes, main entrees, Edward Burger hands. This is really fun. I like the scissor ideas. That's actually quite clever. It doesn't even have to be an Edward scissor hands reference necessarily. Um, we have Sweeney beef. And again, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry, Johnny Depp. <laughs> All right. So then silence of the lamb chops. Oh my goodness. This whole book is just cracking me up. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to a few other um, recipes. Um, there's actually quite a bit of main entrees in here. I'm very surprised, but they are um, more burger and f hot dog kind of oriented things, but they're different. I have not seen recipes like this before when trying to find Halloween stuff, even online. So that's really nice that it's very different. These are the desserts. Holy moly. Willie's mango panna cotta and it even has foam on it. That's very fancy. I would not have guessed that there would be any recipes with foam on it in this cookbook. I gotta say, this is impressing me so much. Beetle pie, even though it's, you know, there's no like very apparent creepy things on here, they've used all these natural ingredients to kind of give it that creepy vibe. If you want to, you could put little plastic spiders on it, but that's really, really clever and really cool and appetizing too. Ooh, this is a Velvet Midnight Espresso Cake with stained glass candy shards. This is really cool. I know I've seen some stuff like this before, but if you just want a big dessert item for your Halloween party this year, this is actually a very good option. Very cool. Oh. I just flipped to drinks. Okay, so this is the golden ticket. Holy moly. I don't think you guys can even see how colorful this is because of this video, but it is, it's very colorful. I'm trying to get it. It's, and it's kind of creepy too. Interesting. So we also have the big fish bowl. This is cool. Ooh, this is Halloween. This is very cool. Wow, beautiful. There's a, okay, this is a great cookbook, and they don't play around, like, they just, they're, they just handy recipes, there's no crazy stories, you know, I really like that. Lots of things are very easy, very clear and concise, you've got the yield right here, everything's organized very well, there's a lot of big, bold pictures, and it kind of is self-explanatory, they really utilize the space in this cookbook just to give you a bunch of recipes. I really appreciate that. Let's see. Um, wow, it's just, it's kind of, this cookbook's just really amazing. Let's see if I can find a, something else. They even give you, so this is fun, and I didn't even see this on the table of contents. So in the back, you can actually have everything planned out for you. So this is for a Nightmare Before Christmas party. If you guys have watched my previous Nightmare Before Christmas video, you can also use this cookbook. It gives you a whole menu with all the different items. Unfortunately, there's no page numbers. But, you know, there's like different, all kind. Edward's formal dinner party. Just so fun. This looks like a, is this Beetlejuice? It might be. It is Beetlejuice. So I love that. That's really clever. And plus there's different recipes from different horror movies. I think my husband and I are going to try to plan something really low-key this year and try to put in some horror movies. So this would be super handy. This pleasantly surprised me. I had not looked through this cookbook except for with you guys, and I really enjoyed this. If you want a Halloween cookbook, I definitely recommend The Nightmare Before Dinner. This is by Zach Neal. This is the Beetle House cookbook, so check it out. For more cookbook content, come join us on Facebook Instagram and Pinterest. Also our website at cookbookdivas.com. We love to write about different cookbooks, different cookbook news, all kinds of stuff. We also try to do our podcast episodes every Friday. It's really hard because of the holidays, but we're trying our best. Those are our weekly cookbook roundups, so all of the new cookbooks coming out within the week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to review and subscribe on your way out. We want to know how we're doing. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you soon.